What's up? It's me, Priscilla. So today, a lot of you have been asking me on my Instagram to do a tutorial on watercolor pencils because what I was doing was simply drawing on some postcards and then what I did was I took my watercolor pencils, I colored it in, and I legit did this on the plane. These are actually some really awesome watercolor pencils I was just given by Arteza. So these are actually woodless, so there's no wood in them and I can just sharpen them and when I sharpen them it's just it's pieces of the pencil that are coming off like it's completely it's the lead of the pencil it's the watercolor pencil <laughs> I don't know how to explain this I love these kind of pencils these actual pencils are just pure watercolor goodness just waiting for you to use them so let's do a couple of exercises now watercolor pencils no joke they're the easiest I think it's the easiest way to do watercolor especially if you're a color pencil enthusiast it's really going to help you. So what's really cool about these is that you can actually line stuff and that way it would be done. That's all you would have to do. So I would go ahead and just lightly go around and shade in my heart on this side and I would just leave this side a little bit open. Then I would take some clear, clear, clean water and just a brush and then you see as soon as I add water to where I put my watercolor pencil going back for more water you can add watercolor pencils by taking your paintbrush first I'm just going to make a simple circle and then I take my watercolor pencil to that area where I just made my circle you could go ahead and add the watercolor pencil straight onto where you put that what spot on your watercolor paper. To be honest, this is my favorite technique right here where I go in and I fill everything in already done. And the cool thing about watercolor pencils is you can go ahead and you can mix your pencils together on the paper. Now when it comes to layering, I'm going to advise you guys to really wait till these are completely dry before you go ahead and layer. The first layer is completely dry. That's when I would go in and I would go ahead and add a whole new layer to wherever you want to put that layer and that you would just repeat this for each and every single one wherever you want layers on your watercolor. That's where you would go ahead and put it. So I'm going to put it on that one and I'm going to put it on this one. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into a time lapse and I'm going to walk you through how I used watercolor pencils on these macaroons. What I went ahead is I went ahead and lightly sketched them with a pencil just so I knew the type of kind of like just what macaroons look like because we all know what french macaroons look like they have like the nice smooth tops they look like pretty patties from spongebob squarepants and <laughs> they're really edgy at, along the ridges underneath the smooth tops so what you see me doing here is the first technique this is my favorite technique where you go ahead and you color in you line everything and you color it in with your watercolor pencils and then you go in with your brush and you fill it in with water so this is all my first layer. Now I did kind of mess up on this macaroon a little because you're gonna see me actually go ahead and apply water to the middle where the cream is of the macaroon. And I don't like doing that because I know wherever there's water on watercolor paper, it will probably bleed. So I'm really messed up on that one. For this macaroon, I did the second technique where I go in and I put the water down first and then I add the watercolor pencil on top of it. I don't really like this part of watercolor pencils. I like the first technique that I showed you. This one I don't like as much just because I feel like I'm really messing up the paper. And it's not giving me a really nice looking texture like the first one gave me. So this is not my favorite technique, but 
This is something where you guys have to experiment with your watercolor pencils. I mean, I just had to show you guys that I wanted to go ahead and do it. And as you can see, you can see the little bit of yellow that started to bleed into the pink, the top part of my macaroon. So this is where I would go in and I would add, I would wait just a little bit and I'd start adding layers with the layers, but I would wait for it just to dry a good significant amount. You don't have to wait till it's completely dry, but just wait for a little while for it to dry. And as always with watercolor in general, make sure you jump around because you don't want to just really like pile the layers on top of each other and make sure that's a good distance away so that your watercolor doesn't bleed into the other one even though you're tempted to go to the macaroon that's right next to the pink one i would suggest to go to the bottom like i did with this yellow one and that way your watercolor is not bleeding into each other and yeah you just learn within time that there's these certain rules so just learn to jump around so if you're waiting for one piece to dry then then start a new watercolor piece. Here I go again with the second layer where I jump back in where it's semi kind of dry and then I go in and I add a little bit more and then I'm just jumping around. That's always key is just to keep yourself busy and jump around and just add water here, water there. And I, as you can see, I learned from my first mistake and I did not add any more middles to my macaroons because I learned from the top pink one. Um, <laughs> I'm obsessed with pistachio macaroons, so that's why I've got two of them. So for the bottom, when I wanted to go ahead and shade the bottom, I took my black and blue because that'll give me a nice cool shadow. And that's what's cool because I actually picked some up from the bottom and I added it to the bottom of my bottom macaroons to give it the same cool shadow. So you can actually treat watercolor pencils as almost like it's its own palette where you can pick it up and you can take it on and put it on something else and apply it to something else and see now i waited for a very very long time to go ahead and add my middles to my back of roots and i wanted it to be a creamy cool color so i added a little bit of blue to each one it gave it a little bit of a green but that's okay because that's kind of like the shading that i wanted and then I keep going and I keep just adding layers on layers, but once again, you just want, really want to make sure that it's dry. So I wanted to get more, some more shading in there and this is all completely dry because this is the next day and I'm going in and just adding more layers to everything just to give it like that third final layer to watercolor. And this is just my preference. I love white gouache. Um, you can get white gouache from any art store and it's a great asset to have for watercolor because it goes ahead and it dilutes and it gives a more of a highlighter kind of a appeal to it so that's why I use it so yes I hope this is helpful and if you guys want to go ahead and get some of your own watercolor pencils here's these watercolor pencils you can go ahead and check out the links down below in the info box thank you Arteza for sending these to me so I love watercolor pencils and I love all the watercolor supplies that you send to me so go ahead and check that out down below and yeah I really hope you'll give this a try if you're super into watercolor then you have got to give watercolor pencils a go because they're a fun way to do really quick beautiful watercolor pieces but yeah I hope you guys have a most wonderful day and I will see you all later 